Hello, and thank you for coming. A few weeks ago, I received an email from one of my colleagues at work. In this email was an invitation to t attend a monthly meeting, uh, which was a Toastmasters meeting. If you're not aware of what the term Toastmasters means, it refers to meetings that help you become comfortable with your public speaking. In the context of this email, which I really liked, talked about forging your future by facing your fears. A couple of things immediately came to mind. The first thought was, why did I even open this email when I had four other, 400 others that I could have started with? The second thing was, seriously, I could have done a lot of other things but opened that email. And the next thing that popped in my head is that I'm thinking, I am currently in a communication class, hoping to God that I get through giving only three speeches. Why would I want to voluntarily attend a meeting and write speeches and then give them? And then I began to think about it. And in my thought, I thought, improving my communication, along with being comfortable with public speaking, could really help set me up for success. During our tough economic times, obtaining the job that's ideal, and there's competitiveness in the job market these days, if you're successful with your speaking, you can become a successful leader. And it may open up opportunities, and you could even get promotions out of it. So I speak with people all the time, and I do give presentations, which I know seems shocking. Uh, when I began this communication class, I was very nervous about getting up in front of a camera and filming a speech. I can write. I give informal presentations all the time, but to formally speak, I found it very concerning. I began finding the tagline from the email, forging your future by facing your fears, very, very appealing to me. So I went to this meeting. Today my goal is to inspire you to forge your future by facing your fears of public speaking and using this communication class as a stepping stone to Toastmasters. While my kids were growing up, we were members of Greenfield Village, and that's on the east side of the state of Michigan, and it's an old historic type of um, environment that was set up by Henry Ford. There's working farms, there's industry all those types of things back in the turn of the century. And you're probably wondering right now is what has this got to do with public speaking? One of the buildings that we frequented was the blacksmith's house. We had spent a good portion of our day watching them create their wares. The process was very interesting to watch and my kids really did enjoy that. The whole process is, and all things start from the same thing, they take a rod, one simple rod, and um, the process is the same whether you're making a nail or an elaborate type of item. The intriguing is, is they, they do begin the same way. The rod of iron is placed in the heat until it becomes a specific temperature and it's workable. It's then removed and the blacksmith strikes the iron with his hammer and he shapes it. He'd return to the fire repeatedly, bring it back out, work on it, return to the fire until he started to get the product that he wanted. The most interesting thing to me is that no matter how impressive the finished piece is, it's never perfect. Yet it's finished and ready to be given or sold. I believe we took this class and, went, and I went to Toastmasters to improve my public speaking, which will be helpful in our job roles and for professional development. In conversation with my colleagues, many speak about how Toastmasters gave them confidence in presenting meetings and giving reports or presenting projects that are required of them in their job. We attend our class week in and week out. We've begun to view others and work and I'm sure compare ourselves to others, which I know I have when I'm viewing other people's videos. It's human nature to usually compare yourself lower than what other people may compare you as. In this class, in a Toastmasters, you build your confidence a little at a time. In Toastmasters, you begin with an icebreaker speech, just like we did with our first speech in class, which I compared to the blacksmith's ride. Each time um, of us have great potential, but not much shape. The, first, the fire that allows us to be shaped in facing our fears of speaking. We have begun to tackle this fear by taking this course and by me joining Toastmasters. You can lessen your fear, um, and you can lessen your fear by signing up for Toastmasters. Attending Toastmasters meetings and then signing up for your first speech can be compared to the hammer that will help shape and form your speaking skills. With each speech you give, it's going back to the fire to have your speaking ability shaped a little at a time. 
but by the time you've given your 10th speech, so you've written and given your 10th speech, you're then considered a competent speaker. Like a finished product of the blacksmith, we will never be a perfect speaker, or our speeches may never be perfect, and they may be changed each time it's presented. However, you can develop communication skills that will help you personally and professionally. In closing, I hope I've inspired you to check where you might be able to join Toastmasters. They may meet at your place of work, which they do for mine, and I had not even realized that until I received that email uh, a couple weeks ago. You can also Google Toastmasters.org, and that's where I did get some of my information from, to find local meeting places, and they're nationally all over. Remember, by reaching out and continuing to improve your communication skills, you are forging your futures by facing your fears with public speaking. Thank you for coming.